So how to create a map type visualization using Google Sheets. Uh, I know the uh, pie chart and bar charts uh, just don't cut it. It's been pretty boring looking at those type of visualizations, but this is, uh, this is much more prettier. So let's uh, give it a shot. I have uh, two columns. Uh, that's how my data set looks like. One, uh, one contains cities. The other one contains the number of kids enrolled in a course. I'm taking a, I'm teaching a data visualization course and um, an AI course eventually. But this is the number of kids I have enrolled. Let's say that's an, that's a pretty good example here. So, uh, first step, mark that um, data set. Go to insert. Click on chart and you have a pie chart coming up. And I know that's not what we talked about, but bear with me for a second. Let's change the chart type here on the right-hand side. Scroll down on this right-hand uh, list of chart types you see here, and you'll see the map type, right? The geo chart and geo chart with markers. So what you want to click on is the geo chart with markers. And you have your first version of a map chart. Okay, uh, let's refine this a little bit. So I will go to customize and I only care about, let's say, the United States. So I will go to the geo option on the right hand side. Instead of the world region, I will choose United States. And I got Austin marked much more clearly with six kids enrolled and Kansas City with two kids enrolled. Okay. So the other thing I will change is I will change these colors. So let me see orange, I guess, for this. And I will change my midpoint to something a little more colorful, not uh, not this light shade here. So let me try something darker, maybe, maybe blue. Okay, I'll give that. I don't have a midpoint. Now let's move this a little, much, little bit on the right-hand side. And let me add something else. So Seattle, okay, so you see that bubble showing up. Um, and let me give it a data point. Let, let me give it four. So you got a blue shade showing up. Let's do Denver and let's give it three. And you know, you get the idea now, right? So it's pretty straightforward. Put in the cities and the map will dynamically change as soon as you update the sheet.